So you'll need PCM17 for this and also uh, DOS images. I could show you possibly where to find those in the link below. So without any further ado, let's get started on this. We will run PCM. And the first thing you want to do is click on the new config icon bottom left. Let's type a name in there. For this, we're just going to use Retro DOS for our box. Retro DOS. Yep. Okay. And then on the first tab, we want to choose our machine. We're going to choose our motherboard chip and all that. I'm going to find something that is I know is stable, and we're going to use that, which is the Intel Advanced ZP. Then we're going to stick uh, for that era, 1996 uh, Pentium 133. 16 megabytes of RAM is probably more like it for that back then, so we'll use 16 megabytes. It is just a DOS box. And... Click on the hard drive, oh, video card, sorry, video card, we're going to use a VGA, 8-bit, you can use anything you want, really. Uh, Sound Blaster 16, the good old Sound Blaster from that era, loved it. And for hard drives, when a standard IDE, choose that, floppy drive, change that to 1.44 megabyte, the second one, none. And let's use an old CD-ROM, so that's the old Aztec, it's a 4X great speed for that era down on hard drive you want to click that little hard drive icon there hit new click the, the click the damn icon there you go and you can see the size is going to be 251 megabytes which is not a bad size for a dos box back then if you want more space go ahead and hit a zero at the end there now you have a 2.5 gigabyte drive uh, we're just going to do 251 type in a file name there DOS, all right, okay. And then remember to partition and format the new drive. We are going to be doing that automatically and I'll show you. All right, then we wanna choose, uh, not a serial mouse, let's go with a PS2 mouse and just a standard joystick. You can put anything you want in there that's available. Um, we don't need a network card for this demonstration. We are now ready to run this box. So go ahead and hit that play button and immediately what i do is i hit delete um the the window doesn't size automatically so you're gonna have to go to video and then uh, resize it hit sizable then you can stretch it out nice and good hit a hard reset on there let's hit that uh, f1 or delete key both work on this motherboard and we'll let it detect there's the hard drive there's cd-rom all right, yep, check some invalid, blah, 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 hit F1, we're in there. Let's set the proper date. Hopefully this one goes into 2023. I've seen some that don't, whatever. All right, next tab, well, that looks good. Uh, yep, floppy's there, okay. That looks good, everything looks good there. First boot device, floppy is the most important thing. All right, great, peripheral configuration. We wanna go in and disable both the serial ports because we're just not going to use them and it'll free up resources and we want to disable the parallel port unless you plan on printing in some weird land uh all the other tabs here seem to look fine there's nothing out of the ordinary nothing to set so we're going to hit escape and enter save those changes and if you're quick you can put your dos disk in right away uh, before goes through this test here just go up here to disk change drive find the disk image number one for dos 622 click on that hit open and it should boot right into it now without having to reset one more time look at that starting ms dos it's now 1996 where's your copy of doom <laughs> All right, basic MS-DOS setup. You don't have to read much. Just hit enter. It's just telling you it's, you know, prepared. All right, configure unallocated disk space. Ah, okay. Setup will now restart your computer. So we're going to hit enter, let it reboot. It's going to partition the drive, set the drive active, put the MBR on it. Uh, and eventually format it for us. That's the beauty of the DOS install disks. So we'll boot back into the DOS installation floppy disk. Let's check in our system. Look at that, automatically formatting the drive. 
All right, settings are correct. Yep, it's 2023. That's where we want to put it. CDOS, you can name it whatever the hell you want. And now it's going to copy all those files over until it gets to about 25%. All right, now it's going to ask us for disk two. We're going to change that drive to disk two. So I'll go up there to disk and drive and change it to disk two image. And now we want to put in disk three, same method as putting in disk two. Hit enter. Let's move on. All right, MS DOS is installed. Remove those disks. So we'll just hit eject. It's all complete. We'll hit enter. We'll reboot. You now should have a working DOS box, a Pentium 133 or whatever you chose. And look at that. We have a DOS prompt. IMM is testing extended memory. We have the C prompt. MS DOS 622. Look, there's the memory. In the DOS directory, we have all our commands. And you are free to play with them at your will. This has been Trollbender for Trolls Tech. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this one, go ahead and watch our other, 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 others. Watch our others. Watch our other videos. Have a good one. I love you guys.